हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर रचिका योर फर्टिलिटी गाइड सो वन टॉपिक हैज कम टू मी दैट मैनी ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर्स है टोल्ड मी दे वॉन्ट टू लिसन अबाउट इट इज दैट सो टेन स्टेप्स टू गेट प्रेगनेंट विथ अ ब्लॉक फेलोपियन ट्यूब दे वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट इट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज अ फेलोपियन ट्यूब फेलोपियन ट्यूब इज एन एसेंशियल ऑर्गन दैट इज दैट इज द प्लेस वेयर द एग्ज आर फर्टिलाइज विद द स्पम एंड इट लीड्स टू द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ द एग्ज एज वेल एज द एम्ब्रोज from the tubes to the uterus so it is a very important part when we are talking about conception so can you get pregnant if you have got one fallopian tube blocked yes you can definitely get pregnant so now let us see the steps what are to be taken if you want to get pregnant with a blocked fallopian tube so first and foremost what are the signs and symptoms because the patient comes to the opd and say that i don't know that i have my tubes blocked never felt any problem so might be in some cases you will feel a slight discomfort or pain because many times the fluid goes up and that causes a bit of enlargement of the fallopian tube but that is a very mild finding so as you know we have already told you the importance of the fallopian tube in conception so it is very important that we need to find that whether the fallopian tube is clogged or it is damaged means if you get a hysterosalpingography done in that where there is any blockage coming or it is totally damaged means there is a hydrosalpings that has come and if the tube is totally damaged then we can't do anything because there is right now no signs that has come that replaces the fallopian tube you only have one option of ivf so there is no fallopian tube transplant that is happening right now but if you have got a clogged fallopian tube we can definitely do several procedures on you we can do a diagnostic lab histo on you uh, we can do a tubal cannulation on you so these are the some of the procedures we can do if there is a clogged fallopian tube then you should al always go and talk to a fertility specialist if you have got your hsg done so if you have got it done from anywhere many time what happens you get it done on your own or somebody known to has advised you you have read it on google so after you receive those films you should obviously go and talk to your fertility specialist who will show you the best way because now the thing is that you should not lose your time that is very important and you should book a initial consultation with your fertility specialist and with that consultation you should understand that how critical this situation is so the criticality of the condition needs to be understood because what happens when the fertility specialist is explaining you you should know that what you are going to lose if you are going to take a lot of time maybe the clogged fallopian tube will result into a damaged fallopian tube so this thing has to be kept in mind or it will lead to your low egg reserve later on because the time has gone and you are already having advanced maternal age the seventh point is you should select and get the best treatment possible that is very important because you will be given a cafeteria choice according to that and with every choice you you are given a point of advantages and disadvantages of that treatment and what is the best treatment for you so but you are the person who have to do the choice so with all these knowledge and knowledge is power you need to come to a conclusion that whether you need to go for the ivf cycle directly or you need to go for the lap histo or any tubal recanalization procedure or maybe the clipping procedure before you finally go into the ivf cycle for and you should have a lifestyle change you should have a balanced diet you should exercise regularly you should avoid all kind of sexually transmitted infections so you should the number of sexual partners that you are taking has to be limited and if you are having recurrent infections you should always get it treated by your specialist doctor you should have a emotional support because you have undergone through all this because you are a common person who is as common as your neighbor who is residing beside you and that person has conceived naturally so you also do need your emotional support you also do need your pie and last but not the least you have to be persistent so persistence always pays if any patient is persistent they usually take the baby with them so this is all the about the fallopian tubes in a nutshell and what you should do and if you like it click the like button and you please drop a comment on what videos you would like to hear and that we would we would really appreciate and we would make videos according to that we care about you